guys, just a quick update. Um, basically, it wasn't working because rats were getting in under that bit there. So I've now lifted it off, built a temporary pallet table and put it up on the table. They're quite happy in there. There's two chickens in there. They're my breeding couple when they grow. Still got the main pen. Using pallets as decking at the moment because I can't afford to get the decking boards, but it keeps off of the mud. Is one of my boy quail. He's on his own at the moment because I sold all the females. But he's waiting for my other bloodline of quail, which are in here. I'm waiting for them to grow up. So that three or four of them can go in with him. Basically the heat lamp is still on. But it's on a timer. All covered up completely. I got a feeder um, from the store. And all the way up, adapted the idea of filling up a tube. I don't know if you can see in that. I'm going to try. And that's got the food all the way in and all the way down. And then I've cut segments out here on this tube. Um, I've only taped it temporarily to see if it works. Like holes in there so that the food falls down. And then basically, <laughs> It's halfway between homemade and bought uh, water. That's fine. And a tray for treats. These quail do tend to be flighty. There's one of my Chinese painted. Again, that's a breeding trio in there. But I know that the Chinese and the Japanese will not mate together. So they're quite safe. They all tend to be hiding from the camera. These are only two weeks old, which is why I've still got the heat lamp. I say heat lamp. It's actually an heating element. And that, yeah, that's still boiling hot. That's, uh, I think it's a 150 watt element. But at least they get into their natural daytime. All of these guys are for sale. They're only five pound each. Obviously, only in the UK, so they're waiting to be sold. So that's the quail pen. <laughs>